<clears throat> now I'm gonna slay it, and you will wait five seconds before you. No, slay you it. will count down. What? I you will count record. down. Press I record. hit record. You hit record just now. Yes. Okay. Are cool. you recording? I am now recording now. Okay. All right. Where's my phone? Fuck! It's so far away. Uh, you want to get that phone? <laughs> it is cold. I'm going to be on the phone with no phone, man. Hey guys, welcome to episode five of My and Sam on the phone. And um, yeah, we have a special guest, as you can obviously see. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Michael Ardisawal. Thank you for having me on your show. Hello, Hi, Michael. Sam. It's, like it's a pleasure to doing something for me. Have you on the show today? I don't today. think I'm at liberty to share, but what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we have a special episode, so I will let my explain because I'm not is, explaining anything. This is her time to shine. Sure. Yeah. Do Basically, it. we're here. Why did you make that? This isn't a talk show, and now I feel as though I'm on the spot. Are you gonna do I a just fact? Feel like, why can't we try? New Are we things? gonna do the why facts? Why can't you just allow Are us we gonna, to just? Can you like, just answer my question? I would like my my question to be. This is not how facts. we normally are. If you watch it, you don't watch it. It's okay. <laughs> 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 this is definitely how we normally are. We literally got into a fight to the other podcast because do you, you wanna, fought me on singing a song in the beginning. Do you wanna? Do the facts first? Okay, we'll do the facts Are you going to do a fact? I'm going to do a fact. What's your fact? So my fact is that I did not know that Beyonce started the concept of like a visual album and releasing music on Fridays. Did she? She like made it a trend. I did not know that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, with Lemonade, right? No. With um, B-Day. Like all the way back then. I think all the the songs and all the, yeah, all the songs had videos. I, I'm pretty sure she made a documentary about, or somebody made a documentary of her like visual series oh really yeah somebody was telling me about it yeah she also did i think she was also like one of the first people to do like a deluxe album so like re-release it with new songs she was like one of the first i think to do it or she made it a trend beyonce setting the trends yep spicy spicy can i swear on this yes yeah okay no this is like not for children fuck you money though what? Mm-hmm. And then Beyonce just has fuck you money. Yeah, she I really feel like does. You would. She has a shit ton of money. I, I feel, feel like you, you wanted to say the fact that I am now swearing <laughs> it has fuck you money. Fuck you money. <laughs> well, I have a fact. Fuck, what was it? You literally have one in the fuck Oh fact. wait, no, this is my fucking fact. Okay, so as I said, I'm in school. Um, and you got the new phone. That's a fact. Got the new phone. That is yep. a fact. Ah, crazy. That's five G. Show the back of the camera, dude. I'm it's crazy. It has so many cameras. What'd you say? Or is it five G? What does that mean? Five G. It's five the thing that's killing us all instead of coronavirus. Five grapes. Like it stands for thing. five grapes. Wake up, people. Five it's grapes. not, th- it's five not grapes. a real thing. It comes with five grapes. Yeah. The grapes give you um, internet connection. That's faster than ever before. Yeah. Nobody knew it, but T-Mobile did. And so did Korea, because Samsung, we're ahead of the curve. This is a show. Well, we this talk. is a show. I'm not saying anything. This is my fucking fact. So today I was reading my history book and I got really bored because I can't read history. Um, it's really boring. Huh? This is Kat. <laughs> this is Kat because she literally knows so much history. No, it's just so boring to have to read 58 pages that are single spaced and also a PDF. So it's like fucking nightmare. So I started reading it in a British accent. BBC style. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, which is really. Would you like to hear an excerpt? I can. I, I can. I, I can you record it. I can do an example right now. Oh, you can. Yeah, I would I like to. I would like to hear it. Would actually. you like to hear it? Yes. Let's, let's see where we go with this. Let's see. Where I can't we minimize go with the screen, this. so what I guess mean? it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Maybe it will. Actually, can I put other things in front of the screen? Yeah, you can put in front other things. In front. Did you actually, ever give us this fact? Did you ever? Oh give no, it? I did not. Okay, so this is my fact. So aside from me speaking in a British accent to get through my studies, um, I came across a word while I was reading, and it was spelled weird as shit. Uh, it's spelled S U Z E R A I N T Y, I think. And okay. yeah, so Way it lived- too dyslexic there at that one. I know it's like a fucking ugly ass. Yeah, I would so- dislike this video just because you even mentioned this word. This is the word. Susan. Uh, hmm. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm not going to say Try to pronounce it. Huh. Yeah. And you want to know how it's pronounced? Suuzerainty. That's so Su- fucking Uzerainty. ugly. Yeah, Suuzerainty. What does that even mean? It's ugly as shit. It means um, 
a relationship in which one state or other polity control polity polity i'm it's just weird policy controls the foreign policy and relations of a tributary state it has something to do with like the brits controlling the colonies yeah it's really boring but anyway the word is suzerainty and it's really fucking ugly and i hate it <clears throat> and that's my fact mm-hmm. it was about me but um yeah no today we're gonna talk about movies because michael's here and we go oh, to yeah, school I together movies i think right Hmm? Yeah, movies. Yeah. I do movies. Movies. You do movies. I do movies. Yeah. And do- I watch them sometimes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I know a person. His name is Michael Scorsese, I think. And he what? makes the films. Yes. Michael Scorsese. Michael Scorsese. It's you, man. It's you. Oh, you did a... Uh, what is it? Taxi? Taxi? No, I did... Is uh, that not the name of the person? Yeah, I released, His name a, is movie. Martin Scorsese. I released a movie last uh, year. Everybody shit on me because it was so long. It was huh. a, I what? mean, Netflix just bought it. It was good. Uh, the Irishman? No, it was like the British. I, yeah, I think it was the Irishman. Was it the Irishman? Yeah. Scottish I can't remember man? What, I, what I titled it. Yeah. 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 Robert De Niro was on it. As so he always I, is. Yes. As yeah. he always is. Yeah, no, we definitely, me and Michael definitely watched Taxi Driver, and it was a piece of shit movie, actually. You know what? To all the film, this goes out to all the film what is professors. Taxi, driver about again? taxi Driver's garbage. I don't care. Uh, God, fuck. no, Taxi, taxi Driver is garbage. Taxi Driver is just the horns and the score and it's, it's just, bullshit. Doesn't it's he bullshit. just like get it's out everything and like but a, a story music playing and like violence happening? Yeah, it's all interpretive kind of. and not in the good way. I it's, mean, you can have a good story and it can be interpretive, but you can't have an act a, a performance be interpretive or it being like everything being ad lib and not have a story because half of the it's time it's almost you're watching like a certain and you're someone. Just like, it's almost like a certain professor that we have at the certain school that we go to. Oh, I thought you were referring to me and how I just kind of like ad lib it out. You do. I also do. I, just kind I mean, of... so I mean, it's 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 a, it's a thing people do. It's a yeah, thing. It's not a bad thing. No, you know, ad libbing is just a tool. People it's use. improv. Sometimes it works out for people, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. But um, I don't know. Which what well, I've watched uh, Guns Akimbo last weekend. God, I want to watch it. It was so such bad. a fun movie. It's about it's Daniel Radcliffe is in it, and that's. Guy who plays Harry Potter, for sure we all know that. But um Who? Oh, I know who that is. You can continue. So oh, anyway. Josh and you. Da. Ah. Love it when you do that. I know. Da, da, Derry Potter. Derry <laughs> Potter. <laughs> Daniel Derry Potter. Derry Potter. Two percent milk. Dolly Potter. Parton. Dolly Parton's in it. And um he basically there's like a game called Schism and criminals have to kill each other. And it's a lot like Borderlands, actually. It's like you just drive through somewhere, it's nondescript, and you kill them. And then you win and you get some money or you get freedom or parole or whatever the fuck it is that you need. It's really fucked up, but... That sounds exactly like that movie that um, Dave Franco did. What, Nerve? Nerve. Yeah, fucking Nerve. It sounds Nerve like was Nerve. not bad. Nerve was fun. I like fun movies like but that. Nerve wasn't. Nerve wasn't that fun. No, it was not. No, I feel like the Guns trailer Akimba. was very eluding, and I felt I felt the same sort of energy coming from Guns Akimbo. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, but no, Guns Akimbo is better. Yeah, Guns Akimbo is more fun. Plus, like, I think the action scenes were really well shot, but it was Daniel a really Radcliffe good movie. Looked like he had fun. Making no, he had, no, I love Darren because he just like after he Harry just, Potter, he just, he just does he, whatever the he fuck. Like he has he a has fuck fun. ton of money. Yeah. He just does he do it well in other roles that is not? Yeah, yeah. He, he really I mean, does. He, he really likes doing super. He does weird, weird roles. Mm-hmm. He did. Um, is he in a lot of indie films? Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of. Yeah, indie films. it's like all his whole career. At, oh, like really? now, yeah. you know what's interesting? I didn't know that. Like, okay, so you know, I've been watching the new girl as everyone has seen, but um, who's that who girl? Who's, who's that, that girl? girl? It's Chess. So, anyways, great. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, Jess Schmidt Nick. Nick, yeah. I'm Jess. I'm, yeah. Oh no. Oh my Jess. You're not Jess at all. You're actually more of who are Winston. You're Winston. You are Winston. You are Winston. Except not black. Obviously. Yeah. Did you? I just wanted to point that out in a very sharp, you're and Jess, clear way. Because you're just weird. No, you're... I feel like I'm Nick because Nick Wait, also does Schmidt? things like this. Schmidt, Schmidt is, is the, the guy white guy like who's like some kind of racist. Is he racist? He well, with them too. He was racist. And, you know, he was just for very, our he, was he was just very, very he was racist perverted. for our standards today. Yeah, he was very perverted. I think he got. I, I hope he got better in later seasons. I kind of hope he does. He doesn't, but I think he inev- inevitably does. I think he will because you I think finished the, watching it. Hmm? No, I'm on season two. We're watching it like now. Yes. So, anyways, as I was saying, um, I didn't know that Zoe Deschanel got started in like a bunch of other like 
indie film. I first like, saw like her in Birds of Terabithia. She played the teacher. But apparently she's been, like, acting since, like, way, way before that. Um, I watched, like, some YouTube video about it, and she... Pretty sure been... she was a child actor. Yeah. yeah. Was Emily a child actor, too? Emily? Her sister? Oh. She's in Bones. She's Bones from Bones. I love Bones. Bones is such a good show. She went Bones? What? 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 Proceed. Proceed. Wait, with caution. What, like, Bones? Like, the show? The show, Bones. I haven't seen Bones. Yeah, it's about... She went Bones? Yeah. It's about crime. They solve crime. It's about crime. It's about... Can you stop doing this, <laughs> They please? solve crime. Like, I need you to explain <laughs> they're for, what they're you're for, saying. They're forensic. Um, it's really cool. They, like, shoot it. They're, like, they work at the Smithsonian in, like, the crime forensics department. And so, like, Bones <clears throat> analyzes Bones from the crime scene. It's really cool, too. Like, they're usually, like, the corpses are, like, soup or something. It's, like, crazy. It's, like... It's a crazy dude. Right? They're great. They're great. The dude. deaths are great. They're great. like, oh, we found someone in a meat grinder. What the fuck? We found a tooth. And they like analyze it and like CGI render it out and they like solve Is that possible in real life? Probably not. Even, probably not to that extent. But it's a really cool show. I actually really like it. And Bones yeah. is like nerdy. So she's like, yeah, it's the upper third parenthia. It's like has a blunt mark. I think we found our murder. It's like great. Love that show. But she is Zoe Deschanel's sister. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so I did not know that she's been acting, like, since that early. I thought she just, like, popped up and, like, her breakout was New Girl, but it definitely wasn't. I remember her from something. I can't remember what. Who's that girl? Who's, Who's that, that girl? girl? It's, it's Jess. Jess. She was an elf. She was in Yes Man. Oh, that's where I know She was in from. Yes Man? She was in Yes Yeah, yeah she was a love interest of... Uh, uh, why did I think that was uh... Him, uh? Wait, wait. Was she in five hundred? Who was in five hundred seconds of summer? Her? Is it is Zoe Deschanel, right? Yeah. yeah, that's that's also where she's I. She's also like she she likes the role of like the manic pixie dream girl. Yeah, yeah. like that. That uh, she's is she typecast a little bit. But I think her character changes. Like she, I think she really started out. No, no I mean uh, it's, not, it's not a bad it. thing or something. Yeah, it's like it's how just, Jesse Eisenberg always play. plays like very like nitpicky people that talk very fast because he's also a nitpicky person that talks very fast yeah but like i think she Jim definitely Carrey does change like over stuff. like the over the um course of it because i she's like definitely more assertive definitely like more angry definitely yeah. more like no vulnerable. i love new girl new girl is so funny she's not like because i look when i first started this i was like if she's gonna be like this the entire time i'm gonna turn this shit off because i just don't even like her character but then she got yeah, better she, she's she less singing she songs she does evolve as a person, honestly. And at the beginning, it was... Yeah, I get it. I de- and the writing I definitely that get show it. is really good. It is. It's really good. And the good. jokes like, are the really jokes funny. The jokes are really set up well. I was like... Even is- the ones that are a little bit racist. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck did... Schmidt said something yesterday, and I just lost my shit. <laughs> is it that bad? No, what? it's it's not like, that I bad. I haven't seen it in a while. Like, you know what? I revisited... Sorry to get off topic, but I revisited uh, How I Met Your Mother. Yo! Okay. That, that show is super homophobic. How super I Met Your xenophobic, Mother? Super xenophobic, especially. Bro, How I Met Your Mother was like... When I was watching it, because I started from the beginning. Like, it was out when I was like 13 or something. I literally watched that show. It was funny as fuck. There was nothing wrong with it. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then Me too. I rewatched it like last year with my friend Claire... And whenever Barney spoke, I was just cringe. I was like, ooh, like, this is bad, bro. Yeah, like, like it, uh, at the point where it just wasn't funny. It was just like... Yeah, it was just sexual harassment. I still like the Broadway bits. It's still like... A but that's job. how New Girl is, though. Like, when I watched New Girl, I was like, yeah, some of this is definitely really rapey and, like, sexual harassing. And probably should say sexual harassment and not sexual harassing. It's like, a little harassy. Yeah, a little, a little harassy. harassy. A little harassy. Um, no, it's definitely, like... It's it's definitely because like, I think like in one of the episodes that I think you haven't seen yet, Schmidt like shows up to like this Indian like gathering where they're like I think like like this marriage like um thing like a convention yeah and he's like in a turban and he's just like yeah like you know I'm just gonna come here and you know like India is just like trash like you guys need to get it together you guys are idiots and I was like yeah but it's done in a way where it's it's funny it's like it's like racist but it's like ah ah you. It's like on that line. It's like on the line. Like on that tiptoeing off of the line, but like but like right back where you got to be. Yeah, some of the scenes, I, like I think in the earlier, like in the first season especially, it was like okay, because like Cece would come around and she was obviously very pretty, and they would just like follow her around and just kind of like do the most to just they were just very like weird, and I was just kind of like see today, 
I'd be like, why are you guys so gross? Like, yeah. go away. This is No, weird. even shit like ugly. No, ba- and then she even said something. She was like, she was like, yeah, like, no girl just wants you to like not kiss her. Like, she was like, just like going for the kiss. And I was like, no, never do that. That's never do that. Advice. It like, only works in a show. She was like, no girl wants you to ask her to kiss her. Like, that's not sexy at all. And I was like, that's consent, though. Consent is sexy. You can make it sexy, I think. Yeah. yeah. Bro, speaking of that, no. <laughs> it's all about creativity. Yeah. yeah, creativity. No, I was watching yesterday's episode where she was pretending that, like, Jess was pretending that she was Katie. And um, <clears throat> the guy was like, yeah, like, I can't wait to see, like, what you are wearing tomorrow. And she was like, or what I'm not wearing. Because yeah, sex like, happens <laughs> naked. <laughs> sex happens naked. And, like, Cece would just be like, no, we can just easily just say this and it's like mysterious and, and she sexy. just always add something she to it always add some weird fucked up shit to it but yeah no like speaking on like i guess new girl and like how i met your mother like sitcoms in general like two and a half men used to be an actual show that aired for several seasons and that is like a, it was trash back then i, I haven't and what, like, it how many seasons I don't know. I want to say I had like at least five. Had a bunch of seasons. It had a bunch least, of seasons because after seven. Charlie Sheen, okay. there was Ashton Kutcher. So. Yeah. Oh okay okay. Yeah, and the Charlie Sheen ones were definitely worse. I feel like, but like I was definitely. I'm not gonna rewatch it. It's like too trash to even like bother. Is it really that? how trash is it? Because I never watched. Charlie it. Sheen is like just sleeps with people. That's his whole thing. And there's a kid there. That little kid. That's the half of the man. And. Alan's just mad about it the whole time. There was a show about that. Just like Sorry. sleeping with. I like how there was also something dropping. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it. What the fuck? Um, yeah, that was a whole show. I don't know. Yeah, he just sleeps with women and like. Did you yeah, tell me there was like one episode where they he were was like, trying to like fool. It's like, I mean, it's like the invert. It's like uh, Charlie Sheen plays or like Don Juan, um, you know, like a. Uh, Men, men, he just like men, loves, men, just men, loves men, having men, sex with men, women, and then he's, the opposite is Alan, the, the kid's dad. That's just just a cuck, I guess. Yes, yes, we were listening. Go ahead. Sex. Which is weird. I feel like it was gonna be very distracting. You, it's your fault. You it started is. this, and you mentioned to me. I just want to. I just want to listen. I just want to like point out what happened because I feel I want to be vindicated. She looked at me. What is happening me. behind me? There's also a distraction. She looked at me while you were talking and she was like, and I was like, you're going to do it, right? And I was like, I'm not. Okay, fine. And then we did it. So yeah, go ahead. I absolutely lost my train of thought. <clears throat> it's okay. Basically, <laughs> Two and a Half Men definitely is one of those shows. Even it's like- It's a shitty show. Like I can't- It was I a don't... really shitty show. Even back then, it was a sleazy show. It was just disgusting. It was just Charlie Sheen being Charlie Sheen. Sorry, my phone was ringing on the okay. table. Um, yeah, I mean, I I can't like you know those people that just rewatch like Friends on repeat. Hi, I'm one of those people. I love. Do Friends. you really? I love Friends. Friends will forever be. Honestly, I feel like Friends and Two and a Half Men are kind of the same thing. They're not the same thing. Absolutely, they're just the totally thing. not the same thing. I used to grow up watching both. There was a block. One is funnier time. than the other. One yeah, there was family. a block. There was a block. It was like that. Was How like, much your mother came on before and, and Family Guy. I feel like and Two and a Half Men is also. Ah, the Simpsons. Yeah, FX. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I feel like Two and a Half Men is definitely more offensive than Friends is because I don't remember Friends, friends is just five gross. friends just lollygagging Being and friends. sleeping with each other and they're friends. Yeah. So yeah, I don't remember it being that gross. No, two and a half men. If t- two and a half men could not air today, and I was even like Ugly Betty. Like the premise of that is that she's just ugly, <laughs> and like she works yeah. at at the at Vogue basically, and like she's ugly as shit. So like no one gives her a chance. Yeah, but she that was, like that started in Atlanta. Like that was a, originally a Mexican show. It was yeah, it was America Lafayette. Ferrara. Right. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, they, you were, know what? Like, you they like, remade that show like three or four times, like throughout like the decades. That's a good show. 
Betty Lafayette. I mean, like, Betty ugly, Lafayette. ugly Betty. <laughs> ugly, yeah, no, it's a good show. It was a good show, but it's just, like, the premise of it is that she's just ugly. Well, wasn't yeah. she, like, she eventually wasn't even ugly anymore? No, she wasn't. Like, it's, it's literally yeah, America for her. Like, she's not ugly at all. Yeah. Like, she, she didn't have the not, braces no more. Yeah, no. She, yeah, she got the brace taken off. She, she flat on like, the hair. Un, she was always conventionally attractive. No, she always was. They just made her ugly as shit by, like, washing out her skin. No, it's, like, I have to, like, there's that, like, slideshow where they used to do, like, a transitions for mm-hmm. shows and they used to have like a little thing and they used to have like pictures of models faces and they would like slide out and then it would just end up being betty's face and it's like really close up she has like a unibrow she has like braces her teeth are yellow her face is white like she got freckles all up it's just a crazy now slow promise she was just ugly so she like everyone did you finish it what yeah no i end? finished the whole thing it was really good how did it end though it ended great and she was pretty at the end so no, I mean, like, how did it end? Like, did she, like... No, she, like, came into herself, and, like, I think she was working as an editor for Mode by, at the end, Vogue by the end of it, and then she got with uh, Daniel, who was, like, the CEO of the company, I want to say, or did Wilhelmina take over? I don't remember. Interesting. But then, yeah. yeah was... But the thing is, I mean, it's weird how the evolution of characters before, I feel like, before, like, PC culture... I don't even. I mean, I don't even know if it was be- before PC culture, but definitely like before this current decade, it was like ugly characters, like like uh ugly Betty, like she like evolved and she like became pretty. Yeah. But like something now. like Sarah, something like um, uh, have you guys seen uh Sarah Burge is a loser? Yeah, I didn't actually watch it, but but the I, the, the whole premise that's is basically that like she fat girl like, becomes yeah, but she was like I mean it was like her referring to herself as like not being conventionally attractive. She's not conventionally attractive, and because of that, she had like the privilege to sort of just be an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> she was just an asshole to the people around her. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Like she was just like a dick to her ready, friends. So I'll be like an asshole. Yeah, she was just like and this. Man. Me not being conventionally attractive is justifies all my actions. Well, at least with Betty, she was a good person. She was just everyone else just oh, shot no, on her. Bet- her no, exactly. Like she was, she was a great person. Yeah. That oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I get it. No, that there's like sort of like, change. I am not okay with this, and like her whole personality was just being a bitch. That was, was just a bad show. They canceled that show, and I'm really happy. That I'm they really did. glad they did it because was where show. was that going to go? Like nothing about it was interesting. She was so mean to her mom for no reason. Wait, what show? Um, I'm, I'm not okay with this. With this. I'm it's like a that. spin-off. It's like you it's, it's a play it, on Carrie. It's, bad. it's like a play on Carrie, essentially. Yeah. It's like a girl. She has telekinetic powers. It's like the '80s. Also, the '80s aesthetic oh, and I shows. Know. What? What? Uh, is it that girl from It? Yeah. Okay, I know exactly. Which I loved her in It. She was so good. Yeah, she's a great actor. It was a good movie. Actually, oh, I'm really excited to see um, Tenant. What's that? Uh, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah, I might be a film student, but I f- do not like Christopher. You don't like Christopher <laughs> Nolan movies? I, I, I don't really. Play, he played I Batman. I don't like right? Christopher. I like you didn't like no, Dunkirk. Christian Bale. He direct. Uh, That's Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Christopher Nolan directed the Batman trilogy. Which Christian uh, Bale is mm-hmm. in? Yeah, it's a lot of Chris. Yes, yeah, yeah, a lot of Chris's a lot. on that side. Um. <laughs> I, I don't like him. You don't? Why not? I like I the, have to apologize every time. Just I like Dunkirk. Sorry. You're just not like his style? Oh, no, not particularly. Like, he's he's a very out... He, I mean, I, I do praise him because he does good work. Like, especially, I've heard good things about it. people working on his set. Like... I thought he, like... Didn't let fo- like I th- wasn't he like the one that's like you can't have phones on my set. No, is that somebody else? Oh uh, no, he's the one that said oh you can't have chairs on my set. Chairs, that's what it <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. What uh, is that? Not like a violation of no, right? Practically not. I don't think it's. But he also true. doesn't sit himself. He's like, the thing is, uh, he just encourages people to work as effectively as they can. Okay. I mean, like I don't know. Like, I don't think he. I, I, I don't maybe, think it's maybe that. it's not. It's probably an ethical or something. But at the same time, like. I don't know. He seems like a director that knows his shit and stuff. But uh, when it comes down to his movies, like my personal preference isn't definitely with that. Like I don't know. It's, 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 it's not that I don't like. It's not that I just want to be overly vitriolic because he's so popular with. Oh, you're just kids. like ah, it's Chris Benoit. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I don't want to be like. I was like, oh, I I don't like Quentin Tarantino because all the kids are like him. You know. I, yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite I, director? My favorite, um, probably uh, Sam Raimi or uh, Yorgos Lagrimos. Who's that? He directed Lobster, the favorite. Ah. Uh, yeah, I know. 
we have conflicting ideals. We have very conflicting ideas. He, but he but did. It's okay. You know? It's okay. You know, it's all it's about I think preference. it's. I think I just don't like Colin Farrell. Actually, you don't like. Colin I think Farrell. I don't like Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell like creeps me out. I think that's what it is. It I don't creeps think creeps me out, but like just the, mm. the right way. No, like. it's the it's <laughs> the wrong. right way. It's wrong for me. Lobster is a really weird movie. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to describe it. It's is just, it about a lobster? Yeah. I really, I, you don't like Colin Farrell? Damn. Uh, I really like him. Uh, he's just, um, I don't know, something about him. It's just, I, have something, you seen I just him in like Seven Psychopaths? Yeah, and I just, I'm not a fan of Colin Farrell. I'm not a fan of Colin Farrell. I don't like Ari Aster movies. I was talking to somebody about Midsummer today, and I was like, I just fucking hate that movie. That movie's, as more time goes by, I hate Midsummer. What's Ari Aster? He's the person that directed Hereditary and Midsummer. Oh. I like Hereditary. I didn't. I like it. It's okay. It's very creepy. Hereditary is okay at best. I feel like. Do you like Hereditary? Did you feel Hereditary? I haven't seen Hereditary, but I did see Midsummer, and I honestly, I, I really, I really like. I mean, I feel like with good directors, you can see that they sort of have a very particular niche that they're trying to cover, or like you can see sort of their signature with different movies, and then I mean. Did he or she also direct? Um... Isn't Ari Aster a man? Ari Aster is a man. Oh. <laughs> you looked at me and I was like, <laughs> I, was like, Hold I on. definitely don't. I'm pretty sure Ari Aster is a man. I mean, come on. I, I, I just didn't know like particularly who the director was. Just I, because somebody, I mean, Maya said that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely also... a white man. White. 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 White man. I'm pretty sure that director also made... Uh... Ex Machina? Did yeah, it? I think you did. Ex Machina was not bad. Look, what am look. I, I'm thinking of a direct or like mm. two twins that are directors. I actually, you know what? I don't think he did Ex Machina. Ex Machina is somebody else. Why didn't you like Hereditary though? Like, explain that. I again. didn't like Hereditary because, um, one second, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, about. yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Softy brothers? What do they do? Uh, Good Time and Uncut Gems. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the brothers. I've loved Uncut Gems, so that's that was like my favorite movie for a second. I didn't like Hereditary because, first of all, I don't like when I I watch the trailer and I go into the theater with the very specific. I have a feeling like this is what it's going to be about, and it wasn't. But it was fine. But I think what it turned out to be wasn't any better than I what I had envisioned. What did you think it was going to be about? Well, it was like I, the girl clicking and everything. I just thought it was going to be like a psychological thriller that was going to be very like a certain, like I have a certain style of movie that I like. I really like psychological thrillers and it ended up being like cult demon, you know. I don't like cult movies that are about like witchcraft and cult and Wow, what's pagan. I don't like the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Blair Witch Project. I don't like, I didn't really particularly care for the witch. I don't like cult Movies that have cults in them that like, you know, do. It's just a very. It's, it's just a, a very niche. But I also think you don't a, like cults, period. No, so I, mean, I don't. Of course, like you know. You well, know, I like. Nobody likes cults. I don't like. I just or in cults, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they, <laughs> I'm not like into cults. like. I just don't like witchcraft, and I don't like the don't with all pagan movies, like horror. Like let's make pagan horror. I I do feel like it's an overused trope in movies. Yeah, and it's it's like always it the same e- thing. It, it can be executed. Do you feel like correctly. it's because paganism is like misunderstood, or you're just kind of like? I mean, I has nothing really to do with it because i don't know too much about pagan culture anyway i think midsummer there was a lot of like tropes that were it was the whole thing is like midsummer so but i think more so i'm just not into like the whole rosemary's baby like i just don't like those types of movies that's not what's interesting to me and so like i went into the movie thinking like oh it's gonna be like something i also like didn't find it it it, it worked better as like a family drama and honestly, if they had left the horror out, if they had oh, left I had hereditary, hereditary, I was like, the fuck. <laughs> no, if they had left like the whole fucking like conjure up a demon and revive him, like if they had left all that shit out, I probably would have liked it a lot better. But yeah, the second I saw, I saw where I was going, and I was like, yeah, I'm 
straight. I think I never would have guessed that it was going to be about that, though. I think they definitely... Yeah, the trailer like, was very thing... misleading, and that's the whole reason I went to see the movie was because I thought it was going to be a certain thing. But maybe like, they did it on well, purpose, I though. didn't know it was about that until you just mentioned it. So what? I do agree that the trailer was misleading. You missed, yeah, it's misleading yeah, as fuck. Definitely. And I feel bad. We kind of spoiled it for you. I mean... Yes, yeah, you don't need to watch it. And... No. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to go watch it anyways. I mean, yeah. But... I definitely... I think they did well, at least to market it that way. Like, you want to know what it's about and, like, the mystery of it. I guess. Or to advertise I like that. that I, I like don't really that like that, though. I, I do like that you have the ability to make it misleading on purpose just because of the over... Like, the... The, like, over-simulation of uh, trailers and just promotional... Yeah. Promotional stuff that, uh, like, just messes with the story because there's some movies that you can definitely just see this the entirety of the story in like three yeah. minutes. Well, I, I really when it comes hate to that. Trailers, I feel like that a I lot mean, of like, like superhero movies, like, yeah. they just tell the whole thing. I'm just like, well, well I don't really care about like, it. I'll watch like some of the trailers for like you know, movies that went to Sundance or a uh, concert film festival or something, and and then I'll, I'll just be like, well, fuck, I guess I already watched that movie. Past oh, you know minutes, what showed the entire the movie? Plot. Invisible Man. Do you remember the, when the Invisible Man trailer oh, yeah. was like a thing? That was so fucking annoying. I didn't even go watch the movie because I was like, I. Oh yeah, me it neither. Was so, I've like, seen yeah, the I entire like, movie. I was like, I, I guess I understand. What is the, the point plot, of me you know? seeing this? No, it was it blew me because not only were they like highlighting, oh, there's an Invisible Man. They even went up to the point of like. He faked his death, and then they went up to like he turned himself invisible using science, and then they went up to like. <laughs> Her fighting him. It was basically the entire movie. Just yeah, like, that was, yeah, exactly. That was, that, was, that, that was be that, that it was the exact off. reason why I didn't see that. Movie. I yeah, didn't, exactly. I didn't right watch the trailer, that. so maybe that's why I enjoyed it. But yeah, that's what it was about. Yeah, no, uh, it, that happened. The so. entire movie was in the that trailer. Was the I was movie. like, yo, what it's, the hell is these this? trailers? It was kind of cool as, to see how he did it, though. These trailers aren't, or trailers now aren't like they're more like the spark notes of the movies yeah. than the actual t- promotional why do you yeah. guys think that they do that now like what changed in the industry people are just trash and not that people talented, well, people think that the audience is stupid on the yeah they are. think that the audience is stupid i mean i wouldn't be surprised because our country is so stupid yeah but, like when it comes to stupid. things like that I mean, like but the box office is way bigger internationally and i feel like yeah it is because people don't know exactly what wait actually where were you going with that um, I was actually going to bring up a point by, uh, this author called Robert McKee. Okay. You know who he is? No. Uh, he's sort of like the guru of screenwriting. Okay. Like, he's, like, the screenwriting professor. Like, he taught, like, Peter Jackson, like, hun- like hundreds of other people that have, like, won awards, like, for directing, writing, or whatever. And the thing is, he mentioned something in his uh, book called The Story, where he talks about screenwriting as, part of, as the Bible writing uh, scripts. And uh, he mentioned something that's like, he said, don't you feel smarter when you're like at the movies and you're watching a movie? Like you can break down stuff easier than you could any other, other particular medium. It's like, and he says like, your audience gets 20% smarter when it goes. The collective IQ is way larger in the movies and because of that you cannot dumb down your movie and i believe that same thing is what you should do with your trailer yeah i definitely agree i don't think like you know like you know spoon feeding the exposition through dialogue or you know like or or the trailers it's just so lazy you know i I didn't know that there was like an art to creating trailers though i didn't think that that i mean mean, you just gotta make something that it's like there is there's definitely an art to creating trailers i didn't realize this till suicide squad yeah that (laughs) that was a great trailer shitty movie but it's because they gave it to the company that made the trailer yeah they gave it to the company that made the trailer stupid i'm like yeah and they never made a feature length film that's absolutely ridiculous like oh my god no they just gave them because suicide squad i think were you the one that said it you were like yeah suicide squad was like a two-hour long trailer and that's like really what it felt like. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly Especially what with it how like. they like edited it. Because they it don't together. they didn't understand the pacing of how it made no a sense. two two hour long, you know, feature length. It made was. no sense. It made no sense whatsoever. Yeah. I definitely like tra- like trailers that I like I don't like when you completely mislead the audience because I'll go and I'll expect a certain something and then if it's something completely different, it's just like that's like a big risk to take. I also don't like when you spoon feed the plot but i don't know something like there's a difference between misleading and 
Well, misdirecting. Our misdirection yeah. versus misleading, because I would say that like, and it's a it's a very fine line. It's too, a very fine line. Interpretive. Like, I maybe feel like you feel that way about a hereditary, but yeah. like, somebody else that goes into well, it and likes that sort of, you know, like voodoo cult stuff would be like, damn, it's cool. I didn't expect this. You know, yeah. I don't like, like that, but it was good. I can't explain it. Like, I don't like necessarily like like stuff like that, but it's like I felt like it was a good movie because I was surprised at like what it actually turned out to be because I, yeah. I wanted to figure out what the mystery exactly. of maybe the title yeah. because it is, maybe it, I Sam think considered it's... that to be misdirection and you consider that to be misleading because you didn't want to particularly go I did see not want movie. to go see that no. yeah, exactly. but I do feel like I don't know like something like Parasite was the trailer was close enough to being what it was about without it actually revealing that what was, it was yeah, about exactly. I feel like that was a good trailer it was a good trailer actually Koreans make great trailers just gonna yeah. say, I was I'm watching Burning right now. And Did like, Koreans actually make that trailer? I don't know, but like he has control over his trailer. I would assume, Bong Joon. I would assume that like you, if you care about what you put out, I wouldn't just true, be like, true, here, true, make true. that trailer and like not look at it. I mean, I'm just saying because a lot of, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of, stu- if not most studios, are, like outsource that type. Of they show. do, but I just, I don't know. I feel like certain artists are more involved, which I yeah, feel like they should. Definitely. Be. I mean, artists at that level, sort of that are you know artistic and it's sort of like a story that they're very close to definitely yeah very careful with what they put out there yeah i had to mm-hmm. say that too but um yeah no i am excited though because haunting of hill house part two but it's what is it haunting of the bly can't remember but there's a bunch of like creepy stuff coming out because it's october and creepy stuff comes out in october and Blumhouse is doing something with Prime where they release, I think, movie. it's either movies or shorts, but they're doing it throughout the month of October. And Haunting Hill House is coming out. Attack on Titan is coming out. And, like, all these, like, slightly Attack horror-themed things out. are coming out. And I'm very excited. The what? Boys is coming out Friday. I cannot wait for that. I'm excited. The Boys. The boys. <gasps> I'm sorry. Did you say what? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Sorry. Yeah, no. The Boys is coming out Friday. I'm super excited for that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. We can definitely have, like, a marathon. Because yeah. I want to w- watch it. Yeah. I really enjoyed season one. That was really good. And yeah. I was surprised. I didn't think I would enjoy it. No, Sam it. started watching it like episode eight. Or no, that's the last episode. Episode six. Yeah. You yeah. started at episode six? Yeah, because yeah. I was watching it and I just started bad. watching it and he picked it up. <laughs> I just I explained. I read the whole thing. No, that's amazing. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's a good. book? Yeah. It's a comic it's book, a comic yeah. Book. Oh. Look, if you th- yeah, the comic book is a lot more crude. Like, it's a lot more R-rated. Yeah, really? It, yeah, he goes out there. Like it, you know, the actual boys, like the film itself. I mean, the TV show itself. Like I, I guess like CJ or somebody was like saying like, oh, like you know, it's gonna, it's it's so gory, it's so crazy. My that friend, was Nicole, I think. I, also Nicole. Nicole was also saying like, oh, it's just so gory, it's crazy. Like the boys is crazy. And I watched it, and I was just like, this really isn't. It's really. It's not, not that bloody. It's not particularly gory either. Nope. It's like there's just a lot. I thought it was a little bit out there, and then I I read the source material, and then I was like, "This is not." <laughs> yeah, no. they are holding back. I don't know. Everyone. It's like also, I was like, yeah. I watch a lot of anime, and anime definitely takes liberty of the fact that it's like animated. So the amount of gore that happens in anime versus like the yeah, boys, anime, but you know, like anime, anime just, there's just some re- restrictions. Ridiculous. Like they just like they're just like we're going to think of the most disgusting way to show you this person got their head chopped off and i'm like okay cool yeah anime super cinematic it's great love it <laughs> but yeah no i really i really enjoyed it i watched it from like episode six. Oh, <gasps> i'm sorry but yeah i <laughs> know i watched it and i loved it so and i was really surprised because like i really thought i wasn't going to enjoy it because it wasn't the focus wasn't on like the superpowers and like the this the I, I want to say cinematic. yeah it's more about the you know society and yeah. people like yeah. that and the corporation yeah, the corporation but. mainly, but um, I'm curious to see where they go because I know they're they're complete they're gonna completely deviate from the source material because yeah, it, because in, of the the last yeah, like scene. The, the like um that that kid in the last episode mm-hmm. spoiler if you haven't seen the boy spoiler boys. um yeah the kid that uh, Homelander had with uh, Butcher's wife um yeah he doesn't exist yeah no. Yeah. Yeah, no, because I you said I in the comic book. That, <clears throat> I feel <clears throat> well, it's always movie. weird when they deviate from like the source material though, because it's like yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever have you ever seen any movies that do it well, where they deviate from the source material? Royal Academy. 
Yeah, actually. Umbrella Academy is like miles above the actual the actual source material. Yeah, uh, <laughs> absolutely. I absolutely stand by that statement. A friend yeah. of mine tried to introduce me to the book 2014, 20, uh, 2014, 2015. And I never actually read it. And then I finished watching the second season. And I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and read the first graphic novel they based the first season off of. Yeah. And I read it. And I was like, this is... My friend, my friend, when he, when he introduced it, he was like, oh, this graphic novel is great. I fucking love it. I fucking then love he, it. And then he read it, and it was like the jankiest dialogue to start with. Just corny, just bad. And the the style, it was very aesthetic, you know, very art tour. You know, everything was very controlled, very, you know, looked very particular to what they wanted to do. But also the story was just bland. Characters didn't have a lot of depth. And then I, I mean, I, then I thought back to the show, and I was like, absolutely blown away you know they they created a lot more depth they they saw the potential in the source material and they just input it into yeah someone into was just like i really see potential and i will make the show it, yeah no it was great i also think that like um series of unfortunate events like the show deviates slightly in some ways or they just add things onto like the original source material but it doesn't because i felt like you know i don't know if you've read the books but like it's very whimsical storytelling. It's very much like it's very sarcastic. It's like he's always defining words and like being really sarcastic. Like I think that's where I get my walking from because he'll be like the Baudelaire children were walking up the hill and they were I don't know and like the rain was extremely viscous on their shoes and he'd be like viscous a word which here means thick almost like you know it's just like very sarcastic and very like why are you talking to me like this. So it's hard to make that in translation and make it a show, but they did pretty well with it, and they had. Like, you don't do that. I think you just like leave out details and like you know what I'm saying, right? And I'm like, no, I have no idea what you're saying. You're just like, yeah, no. I was walking to the store and I like got some items and I went home and I made like a pie. And I'm like, what store? What items did you get? Like, what pie? What is the pie? Like, you just leave out all of like the descriptive <laughs> details. And we just have to kind of like... Mind you, this all stems from like one day we were driving and there was like 20 people walking next to like Target. And Sam was like, hey, what are those people doing? And I didn't fucking know what they were doing because I was also in the car. So I said walking. Because no. that's what so I discerned. So let me explain it even further because she's leaving out details. Nicole no, I'm not. and her were talking about the people that were walking. And they were like, oh my God, what are they doing? And I was like, yeah, what are they doing? Was like, you were like walking. I was like... Clearly, they're walking. And then he was like, "I want to know like what they're doing." And I was like, "I don't know what they're doing. They're walking. That's where we're gonna leave and it." So at. ever since then, I say that she every walks. Every time you, you got you ask Maya something, it's very interpretive. You gotta be on your feet. Yes, it it's not interpretive. interpretive. I get so stressed. I'm like, I don't know what that means. She's like, I, it's, like, like the- it's like I, I I was carrying one of the bags with with the stuff to set up, and you're like, take it to the back and. We'll- what? I mean, like, it's just like you figure it out. You just walk to the back of the house. It's not a very complicated house. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. Now it'd be different if I lived in a giant house. And it was like, oh, you gotta go to the back, take the stairs, make a left, make a right, go up the stairs. But see, there's a kitchen. There's doors. Maybe he walks to like. The I mean, back we're not recording and... in the kitchen. I know, yeah, but like, I, I mean, I don't. You're not fair. Like third time here, I don't want to, you know, overimpose or something. I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't like know. The, even this boom mic. Like, thank God, I like. It's okay, I can figure this out. But it's like, yeah, just like set that up. I'm like. I, Okay, I mean, I've never done that before. I have no instructions or anything, so I'll just do what seems right, I guess. And luckily, it worked out, and it's not thanks to your logic, okay? Your logic does not work. I just My logic to works for me. Anyways. Great. Yeah. So you just have to figure You it out. know the things that I'm asking you. That's why I'm asking you, because but you I know. But I feel like in general, when I approach, I mean, I don't know. If it, I, I work for, like, John, okay? Like, this man will just tell me things. I have to figure it out. So I feel like... But it's just like certain yeah, things. Yeah, actually, you have to, yeah, I absolutely agree with that. <laughs> like, be mad confused, like, oh, yeah, you know, just go ahead and just like, put the thing in the thing and then just close it and then it'll just like. But work. John I'm is like, still confusing. Like, even though you still work there, he's still confusing. Yeah. And he's I hate confusing. that. Like, I need very detailed instructions. Like, if you want me to do something, I need to know. And I feel what. like usually, like, I don't know, take the boom art, for example. It's like very obvious what happens where. No, it is not. I feel like it is. It is not obvious. I feel like there's like a bunch of like things, and it's just very like there's knobs, there's 
a lot going on with this boom arm. And I feel like you I mean, can't be reductive. When there's you talk things about where it. you tighten things and then you screw the mic on at some point and then like obviously the way that it's set up it's so let me to... tell you about the time when I was making ramen here at her house, right? So Son. I was making ramen here at her house, right? And usually what I do because I just do it the ghetto way. I just like throw it in the freaking like bowl, put some water in it and just put like a little spice in it and just done, right? In the microwave. So she makes it in the microwave. What it turns she to does, mush, right? This is what she does, right? She has a, a bowl in her like little like cabinet thing, right? She puts it on the stove. And I'm just like and she starts heating up the water. And I'm like, I don't do One it plus like one this. equals two. No, 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 no. I'm explaining. I'm explaining, right? So she starts this is not up the, the bowl, like right? how you cook Mind noodles. You, this is an important detail about the bowl. The bowl, you have to grab, you have to grab the bowl when it heats up with like this tool because it's like conducting heat. And I never would have known that, right? So she essentially's like, why don't you know what you're doing? And I'm like, I don't know. That's not kitchen. what it was. I d- no, no, no. So that's not like, what it was. What it so was. Then she starts like making the ramen, like how she makes it. And I'm just like, no, I'm it was very, se- no, actually. I don't care. Did she take over his whole operation? She just took over the that's whole operation. That's not what happened at yes, all. Yes, that's what happened. No, it's not. That's exactly what happened. Shut the fuck she up. She the water. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, we're just gonna, bo- I guess we're just gonna boil it in the pot. I mean, I could just warm it up in the microwave, but that's okay. But she had other plants because she makes her ramen, her ramen fancy so i was like i did not know we were gonna do all of this and so she starts like adding stuff and i'm just like okay i didn't know you were gonna make you it you have fancy to clarify like what type of ramen exactly. so okay let me just say i feel vindicated I'm there's have, two types of i'm ramen, japanese you know? okay i'm not about to just put some ramen in a bowl and heat it in the microwave well i'm black <laughs> and i'm about to do that shit <laughs> well i'm black and you're version. in my house and so we're gonna do it right so and that she's it just like why don't you know what you're doing and i'm like i no, I'm it was sorry. Very, like, it I even, don't make it like you. It wasn't I don't even, even know how to use your bowl. I have to grab a tool to grab it. I'm I don't stressed. think this is going to be a bitch. But anyway, this is essentially what it was. Was I was heating up the ramen in the in the pot. And we did the water and we put the noodles in. And then you like stir it and wait till the noodles get soft. And then Sam wanted an egg. And so he was like. No, she asked me if she like, wanted an egg. And I'm like. I guess so. Like, I wasn't going to put it in there, but sure. And then, like, it turns out that, like, I had to put the egg in after we were done cooking the ramen, so they didn't poach at the bottom. And I was like, I don't cook like this. I don't cook It's common like sense, though. This, okay? It's common I don't sense poach my eggs to me. In my it's ramen, common okay? sense to me. Because I if you pour the hot, boiling water over the egg that's sitting in the bowl. I make stews. And, like, when I make the stew, it just, like, cooks itself. And I was like, okay, I guess we're going to cook it like that. Like, it's going to be like a fried egg. No, you were going to poach it. I didn't know I that. I think he's just. I didn't know this. He isn't. I feel very... I, I'm glad you see it, though. It's very interpretive. It's like, so I'm going to put chopsticks, a bowl, eggs, a bunch of vegetables, and you'll figure out it what I want to make. It makes sense what it does. I feel like if I put that in front of you, you'd be like, okay, so I think I'm making ramen, and I think I just combine things and... You you know the steps. Let's, 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 let's have, it's just instead of being in the microwave, if I, if instead go, of putting go, everything in a bowl and putting it in the microwave, I put it in a pot. That's the only thing that changed. There's no, pot and there's a fire. No, that is the only thing steps. that is different. I don't put all that shit in my ramen and I just heat it up and then I eat it. Well, That's what I do. allow me to elevate your life. You have. Thanks for that. I but do. at what cost? The stress. It's like, it's like how I made it at your at your house too. Like, and this was all just to de- de- determine that my was. Not giving proper stress. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, well, son, when she grabbed that tool out the kitchen, I was like, I never would have known. Didn't that it have that's... a thing that. No. The... No. No, the thing oh, is, the, like, the, the bowl color. is a perfect size to make a bowl of ramen, but the handle on the on the pot fell off at some oh, yeah. point. And so we just kept it and we used pliers to just, like, move the bowl because that's all you really need to do. And yeah, see, that's that's something important. That, that is important. Questions. But obviously, it's, it's like I'm not gonna so, make you so touch. So, I'm not gonna make so, you touch this hot metal pot. I your... was stressed because I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to grab this because I feel like it conducts heat. So I, that's going through my mind, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't know where we're going with this. I don't know if she's about to get another tool out. I don't know if she's about to get another bowl out. It was very stressful. And then I was made to feel like, why the fuck don't you know what you're doing? And I'm just like, I don't do this. Okay? I, I Very simple. Put it in a bowl, heat it up, 33 minutes in the microwave, and we're done. But you had to be extra. It was the same great. thing. It just had an it egg great. and a vegetable. But It had an egg and a vegetable. You should eat a vegetable with every meal. You should. It's Absolutely. healthy for you. Interpretive directions. You should doesn't mean that you you do. You do. But you should. So. Yes. Interpretive directions that I don't give. I feel like I'm very clear. Anyways, I have a question. Why are pilots like. What? So. 
garbage. bad. Pilots are Can usually bad that? because it's... pilots for the like the first episode of a oh, show. Oh, ever. Like... The first ever episode of a show. No, 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 not yeah, pilots of planes. Yeah, not oh, pilots of planes. Yeah, I was like, pilots yo, of... yo, Southwest trash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My plane be fucking turbulence. What the fuck is that? I feel like if you said Spirit, it would have been funnier, but I'll let you have it. <clears throat> I don't fly Spirit. I mean, Classy I've flown lady. it before. So. Hmm? Flashy lady. I just have you flown? No, no, no. She only flies really? American Airlines. People scared. You fly American. American is trash. American is trash. Is fucking trash. No, I fly uh, Delta. Delta now. Yeah, Delta is pretty good. She's like, I'm. I'm sorry. Delta if it's not Delta, hmm? it's Delta. not for me. I don't fly anything else. But Delta. United is like okay. I mean, whatever gets me there at the cheapest, it's fine. I fly Avianca. Ooh. Um, Avianca. Yeah, it's. I mean. The, the biggest one in Latin America. Oh, okay. Avianca. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't. I'm uncultured and ignorant. So, I don't know I never... Do I, I know math? That. Do I know geography? Clearly not. I actually like when you go to a foreign country and then you, on your way back, you fly with, like, their plane. Like, like... Yeah. If you go to, like, Honduras and they fly you back in Avianca, or, like, if, you, if I go to Japan, they fly me back with ANA. And it's just miles above, like, anything America has to offer, usually. Yeah, I've been to a maximum of two countries, so I can't relate to that at all. I mean, you did go to yeah, Ghana, did, so. I know, but it's just like, you know, I just, you know. He's literally to been Japan, to, like, to. Ghana, so he's just like, don't. No, it's just, don't she knows, to you know what? Don't I'm listen to that. that. Don't you, know, you have to go to other, you know, you gotta go to other countries. There's no direct flight to Ghana. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's saying. been on the connecting flight. Yeah, he's been on, like, you, have to go you know, he's been to, like. My last roommate was from Ghana. Yeah, you. You stopped in Ireland, actually. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, that's cool. Ghana. That's a cool place to stop. Yeah, definitely. So, are you enjoying this? You no, know, let's not make yeah, me seem like station. you know I'm just like this child that like be flying the fuck out of here. You <laughs> are you not? Also, do I feel it too. like that's your once life. again. You've been to Ghana, so nothing you, you say just, will prosper. Like, you've, you've been to just... Ghana, so you've been to Ghana. <laughs> you can't just you've like been to Ghana. just spring it up. Ghana. I will list Ghana. the countries. I will do it. Ghana. What countries that she's been to? How many countries have you been to? I don't know. 15. No, that's 15. not 15. true. That's not true at all. Okay, let's count. Australia, Belgium. You went to Australia? I haven't been to Belgium. I went to Australia yet. You have been to Belgium. No, I haven't. Okay, Australia, yeah. Amsterdam. What are these countries? No, I haven't. I've been to Australia, France. Ireland? No, Finland. Finland. India, Japan, China, Barbados, Denmark, Germany, and England, but like briefly. And Japan, I assume. I said that. Oh, okay. Well, close enough. I just rounded to 15 or 16. It's 10. So. I mean, <laughs> I feel like it's a round. Same. Like, you can give me that creative freedom to just add a No, you can't Math round 10 to 15. Anyway, it's a very so finite like, number. Whatever. It's like 10. It's 10. It's... Or it's like 9 if you don't count Great Britain, because that doesn't really count. It was just there because the plane stopped there. I feel like the audience feels me. They can't. Talk but also me, you've but... also been to ghana so i don't want to hear it i have so i have was it nice mm-hmm. nice it was it's really cool like he wore he wore um a road of white horse on the beach with no shirt it was very it was very i was on princely. the beach and so it was very african of you <laughs> it was very like i'm in ghana right okay, now. okay shut the fuck up i'm in ghana right now you're <laughs> so you're such an asshole but yeah i did do that in he, fact. no i have a video he rode a horse he was like the video was, the on, horse. My was like, yeah. on my instagram it's on my instagram let's you, let, you want to see you it see multicultural it was just a funny he ate fish on share. the beach. why are you guys doing this to me Look, like i, mean, I don't understand I'm being assault. I'm he being rode attacked. a white stallion assaulted. on I'm the beaches attacked. of Ghana. I had to dial it down. I didn't want to say assaulted. I thought it was a bit strong. The <laughs> bit, it's a bit much, right? Word. It's a pretty strong word. But anyways, yeah, no, I, I've been. It was it was pretty good. It yes. was, you know, I'm really glad that I got to visit an African country because I just felt like, Psst. so let's not. Uh, Look at that man. You know what? You know what this is? This is retaliation. Man, it's an Africa, bro. This is retaliation because of the ramen thing. I know how she works. This is how she works. It's it's retaliation. It's not retaliation. She's doing this on purpose. We were talking about planes and pilots. Anyway. Honestly, it's Michael's fault for not understanding what you said. This is your fault, Michael. I'm sorry. sorry You really... TV pilots. Why are they bad? They're bad TV pilots aren't necessarily bad. 
They're just not as good as the rest of the show because they haven't figured themselves out yet. Yeah, exactly. You know how difficult it is to, you know, even if you get... And you get, gotta get that shit picked up. Sometimes it's yeah, shot like ahead it's, of time, too. You gotta get the pilot picked yeah, up because to have the show. You, I mean, in the past, you'd have to get the pilot, but not... I any. guess I should rephrase the question. Why do they seem awful? They're just it's not as good yeah, as the rest they, of the show. They, they don't get the right people for the job. Mostly because they don't have the budget yet. So you ha- sort of have to produce your, your producer and make and create, like development to distribution or deliverable mm-hmm. yourself you know you get you get your own investors and stuff like that and then after you have the plan you finish it you get your own you know you pitch it to a network or a subscription service whatever and they give you a budget to make a season oh yeah so normally it seems like that and the thing is when when you shoot a pilot the people that work for you you know like the I want to see produce like people below the line, like the grip, the electric, cinematography, director, gaffer. Of photography, gaffer, all, all of these people that sort of make up what the show is. You know, they sign up to do the pilot, but they're not. You know, they aren't committed to do the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna look very different. And now that you have more money, oh, that's why that, that black dude, or you know, and that's yeah, that's yeah. why they changed that guy. Probably, and the girl. Yeah. probably they're like, hey. You won't notice yeah. this. It was mainly one of two reasons. The first one being he didn't have the right chemistry on set. Or he the did second, not. Yeah. He, he did I, not. I didn't like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that black guy in New Girl. <sighs> I'm not racist or whatever. But that black guy in New Girl. <sighs> but, and Or the second one is because they already have a prior uh, prior, a prior movie or TV show that they're doing. And they, you know, they can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's normally why pilots are trash. Sam learned something about the movies and TV shows, and now I'm smarter because of it. Are you smarter because than that's a the logical process of learning? Got a pencil and a piece of. You remember that show? No, no, no. But you sang randomly. I did, and that was interesting. That for was all of us to see. That was. I won't be doing it again. I love it. Yes. What do you guys want to eat tonight? I. Why don't you make us all Wait. ramen? No. I feel like you should. You don't deserve it. I feel like you are ungrateful and you don't deserve it. Okay, those things are true, but I feel I like do you want still to try make authentic it. ramen though. It's not authentic. It's in a package. I just do it up. Uh-huh. I just add. I feel veg- like it makes it. All I do is take the instant ramen, and I the put vegetables ramen, on the it. The only authentic ramen I've had is getting, is just getting cup of noodle soup, and then putting it in a bowl, and then just putting a poached egg in. That's as close as I've gone to. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do when I don't feel like making actual ramen. Me and Nicole made ramen a couple last week. It was really good. It wasn't authentic, though. It wasn't a, bro- a bone broth. But they do make soy milk-based broths in Japan, so I guess it is semi-authentic. That was good. Yeah. So you should just go ahead and make it for us today. Must be nice to be Nicole. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not funny. <laughs> my wife. You know what the funny part is? It's like I will get here late because I don't know. And no, so, it's so funny. He'll get here like at five when we said three, and then like me and Nicole have been slaving away making food. I actually had a dream one time where me and Nicole like made this extravagant meal, and Sam came late, and then Sam got there and like had an attitude about what the food was. He was like, Ugh, "Like this is what it is," and we were like, "Get the fuck out!" <laughs> and I think we like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like the day, the first day I like, came here and I met Sam and Nicole. <laughs> not because, not particularly because you had an attitude. Well, you did have an attitude because of the thing. You had to go get to the store. A uh, prosciutto, prosciutto? The prosciutto. The prosciutto. Remember? Did I have an attitude because of that? Yeah. yeah you you were very much so not trying to go get the prosciutto. Yeah. Um, but you went and got it though. I don't feel like I had an attitude. I feel like it was more of like you were reluctant oh to go. And then we did make an extravagant meal. We really did. That, that meal was, really good. was great. Very good. I forgot Pretty that you. Well I time. forgot that you witnessed that. I mm. guess I just have an unmemorable presence. No, that's not. Oh wow! Twist <laughs> just... the narrative. I love it when you do. It. <laughs> Anyways, no, I just forgot that that happened while you were here, and I was like. Oh, God. Yeah, it, but there was a re... <sighs> Fuck it, whatever. There was a reason. There was a reason. There was a reason. And it was unfortunate. All we right. here. Anyway, so, yeah. yeah no. I'm going to ask you something, Sam. Okay. How was the process of bleaching? Because I know you bleach your hair. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was I, super easy. I almost burned the shit on my ears, though. Yeah, that the was... bleach got on his ears, but yeah. that's usually what happens. Are you bleaching your hair? 
I'm thinking about it. Ooh, yeah, you should do it. Are you going to be blonde, though? I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Of me being blonde? Oh, yeah, are you going to be blonde? She basically know. told you whatever you thought she was going to do, I don't accept it. <laughs> That's not what I said. I just said, <laughs> I are you going like, to do oh, blonde? Funny, I guess I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, Did you, were you thinking of doing blonde? Oh, you know, if you cut all of your hair off and do blonde, it might be really cute, actually. That's what I was thinking of yes. doing, honestly. I was, I was thinking of doing... So he was... <laughs> I was thinking... I am <laughs> thinking about like, doing I'm ruining the process. Your plan. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was fine. I mean, only thing for me is, like, because black, I have to, like, make sure I, like, condition my hair. Is it different, the process? No, it's the no. same thing, but it's, like, I... The keeping up with it, it's, like, your, my shit was dry. I was, like, so I have to like, not that I've really been doing that. More like conditioner or something. No, I have to like deep condition once a week. I haven't actually. Done you gotta that. do a hair do, mask. Yeah, do, yes, do what? I do. What is that? Deep condition. What is that? It's okay. So it's it's like, a thicker conditioner uh, that you leave in your hair. Yeah. And then you can wash it out, or just leave it in. That's called leave-in conditioner. You all have that. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I think like some. I think like for me, you have to like add. Like, I don't know much about hair in general. Oh uh, so. well, <laughs> yeah. There's different things you have to do with it in your hairs. Curly because it's weak. Yep. It's really weak. And it just breaks off. It, and just, it just sucks. Actually. I think the only good part is like, I think like my hair can handle being processed a little bit better than some people's. So, yeah. My shit, I made my shit brown and I had split ends all the time. So I had a bob just so it would not be split. <laughs> but I think my shit just breaks off. Like, I don't think it's going to grow past this length. I'm not sure. It though. probably won't. No, your hair, like... Curly hair does not grow when you bleach it. It just dies. It just dies. It's it just like, it just falls dies. right out. And it's like, oh, well, that probably won't happen to you, though. It'll just... No, your hair will be fine. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I really wish I had, like... Bone like, straight like, hair. Asian hair. Because their hair is, like, really strong, and you can do whatever you want to it as long as you... My only problem is drying it out too much. And because... Have you seen people that, like... They they bleach your hair over and over again. Oh well, yeah, that'll fry like, your hair, and you shouldn't yeah, do that. It uh turns into what's it called? Like it just becomes gummy. Yeah, it, it becomes like uh, what's the word? Uh, Gross. Yes. <laughs> no, no, that's not the word I'm looking Disgusting. for. Disgusting. Like hey, you know what I mean? Fried. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Like dried out. Like super dried Strings out. of hair. Yeah. Bushy or like fuzzy, frizzy. Yeah. Frizzy is that the word? It's not even frizzy. No, it's just it, it, nasty. It was, it's like hey, it's yeah. Just... It's like hey, you know, it's like it's like hard. It doesn't it it it, it has a bad texture. It's super dry. It yeah. Know. It's shit. Yeah. And that was okay. that's kind of the reason why I don't want to bleach it because I'm scared that's gonna end up like that. No, nah, just stop. Just bleach it and then. Do you have any other colors that you want to bleach it, or like? Color it too. Um, I just wanted to try. I mean, honestly, not really. I don't want to do. I, no, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to do any any colors on natural right now because I I last year I I made it my hair red, and that was too much. Why? What happened to you? I don't know. I, don't, I just particularly didn't like it. I um, thought it looked like way too much. I, I like, like it. this. Like matches my skin color a lot. Or. It, it looks compliments nice. my skin color alive. The red was cute. The purple, the red, that was cute. You said she didn't compliment me. I feel like she's trying to tell us something. Go ahead and tell us what that I is. I just, I've heard you say this, so I didn't feel the need to say anything. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. I was You're thinking I would do. You're validation from Maya. Don't seek Maya's validation like, from me. No, no, no. She it. will You're never give it to you ever. No, I won't. Ever. You know how this is. I'd be like, yeah, no, Maya. Like, I just feel like you know, I look like really fat and ugly and disgusting. And she'd just be like, yeah, I mean, you might. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I mean, it's only your own perception. It's so. like your own perception. You know, it's like, you know, don't don't look to me for a confidence booster at all. I will just tell you what you don't want to hear. I'm not this bad of a person. <laughs> so. I feel like you guys get it. I feel like the podcast is half of talking about stuff and half about you guys doing that character assassination on each other. I mean, <laughs> that's what the podcast is. That's we what the podcast is. just get on here is. and talk shit. He would know if he watched <laughs> it. What? 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 I said that I really like Pandan waffles. We're going to move past that. <laughs> so anyways, I was thinking that I would do like maybe purple. Like, You're going to do purple. Yeah. You should do purple. Or, or, or like a dark cherry red. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that would... I'm done talking. What? I'm just saying yes. No, no, yes. no. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm We're just, no, just no, looking at you. Oh, okay. It's never you, ever. Okay, ever. thank you. Shit, we're Thanks here. You. Okay, yeah. It's sure. that 
demon over there. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just like staring. Blindly, <laughs> staring. The soul. What is the She's problem? She's just like. <laughs> I'm just like. But yeah, now I was thinking I would do like a dark cherry red. I feel like dark colors really. Yeah, but I actually have to dye it brown because jobs are now. You can get jobs up, with colored so. hair. Nice. I think you can, but we will. We shall see. I think. To I be think safe, you should cut it low, though. I think it'd be cute. Yeah, no, I, I plan on it. I just haven't been to the barbershop yet. I haven't had a chance. Yeah. So I had my roommate cut my hair. No, uh, it looks really nice. He really cut your shit. Oh no, I I was like I I gave him precise details. Oh okay. I was like, <laughs> oh, you did the. You're gonna move an inch from he- right here up using this setting on the, the thing. It's better than Maya because Maya just would have said, "Oh, just like shave that and shave this and then just shave a little bit over there." And then no, you're really, done. I'm 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 kind of a person that's like super anal about their hair. Like I just you do I, have glorious hair. It is really. You. It's very yeah. like. Yeah. I I just don't. Like I've only gone to like one barber shop my forever back home, and like I I refuse to sh- uh, like uh somebody else to cut my hair the entirety of freshman year, and so I just and it started getting long and I didn't like it and I just I shaved just it off shaved it all off shaved it all off. Michael was looking like Aang. I did look like Aang. He really did. Yeah. I yeah, know. So, I mean, well, well. Anything else, guys? I think I. Would you like to say something? I'm just waiting for you to finish your sentence. I just so oh, I feel like that's one of those things. No. I'm just it's saying. one of those things where like we have this connection, and I'm waiting on you to finish the sentence. I have nothing to say to you. I really hate this. Oh, yeah, we should watch Kill Bill because you haven't seen it. Yeah, I, I told you we should watch the three of them. Yeah, Michael has projects coming up. I got. I'm not projects. Finished. Yeah, things. Multiple I, things. I make movies. I guess. Yeah, he looks That's like a good. director, as you can see, you so are. obviously. He also uses very technical language when talking about movies, so he knows what he's talking about. Obviously, he knows what he's talking the about. The average person, me, will be like, uh. So, yeah. yeah I feel Pop like it's gonna filter, be P's and D's, K's and... Pays, yeah. Pays. This is... I, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Pays. 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 This is a sound joke that I am just not being cued into, or ah, into. cued into. Ha. That's a joke. Ah, that's an ADR joke. Yeah, that mm. we get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna do a guest. I'm not committing to anything actually. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was like gonna say every five episodes, but we'll see what it's we, like. I don't think we should commit. I, I don't like think we, we should, should commit just... because things might change drastically. And also, art changes drastically, and this is art or just a really shitty podcast. It's, it's just a really shitty ladder. podcast but anyways, that so... we're doing because we're bored in the middle of a pandemic, and I'm slowly dying inside. Yeah. So, anyways, because I funnel the energy from other. So, people. anyways. <laughs> No, See thank you, you guys for watching this episode. Like us. Please share us. Please share us. Subscribe. Please. <laughs> Thanks. Please share us. Just, I just, please. Can I just get a share? Yes. Yeah, um, no. Please uh, share the podcast. Like, tell us what you think. Um, tell us if we're trash. Tell yeah, us we're tell us anything. what we're doing. Follow yeah. the Instagram. You can even do that notification bell so you know when we publish episodes. Yes. You yes, can yes, do yes. whatever you want, but I want you to support us. And I think you I should want do you. I, I also want you to support us. <laughs> I'm speaking to I both need of money. Us. We want you to support this. So podcast. we can one day get to a thousand subscribers and be monetized. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. I'm being very honest. And if you don't do it, I will find you. Transparency. I swear to God. He I will, will find, find you. you. And I'll hide his burners. So Exactly. Yeah. And I'll give him happen. his burners. Yes. Yes. It will be right. a, it'll be an operation. Not joking. This podcast is a front for an illegal drug operation. The yeah. podcast will never end. So <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Tune in next episode when we're talking about. Uh, I wish I recorded all of that. I wasn't recording anything. You were. Are-